the BMS is typically powered by 12 volts and depending on model selected, can connect to the stack voltage for optional insulation measurement feature. A block diagram can be found in the BMS and XP user's guide. The BMS starter kit includes the necessary components to connect the BMS to the rest of the system. For BMS LV models, attach contact B plus and B minus of the battery pack to the two pin connector. The A side connector of the BMS is used to connect to the contactor's 12 volt coils. The BMS can control up to five contactors. To provide power to the contactors, a 12 volt positive and 12 volt ground wire need to be inserted into pins 15 and 18 of the A connector respectively. Attach two wires from the contactor coil into pins 9 and 10 of connector A before inserting it into the left side connector of the BMS. The B connector comes pre-wired with a 5-pin battery communications connector, as well as a 4-pin CAN bus connector, used for external computer monitoring. Use the flying leads to insert the key switched plus 12 volts into pin 3 in the 12-volt ground to pin 9. Then insert the plug into the right side connector. Connect the 5-pin plug from the BMS to the first battery, using an extension COM cable if necessary. The pin outs with descriptions can be found on a label at the back of the BMS. After toggling the key switch, the BMS should activate. The BMS pulls the batteries to ensure that all are communicating and all values are nominal. Valence also offers a BMS which accepts 24 to 48 volt key switched input. This is called the BMS MH and is designed with a blue label. Refer to the BMS user's guide for more details about hooking up an external SOC gauge, a fault light, an early warning signal, additional contactors, and a host of other options. Consult with one of our application engineers to determine which model BMS is best suited for your application and to provide additional application notes to assist with proper wire insertion.